Hey guys, Ice Carrot here, and I'm finally bringing you episode 17 of Trading to 1 Million Coins. So, sorry it's been ages since the last episode. Basically, this week I haven't had too much time to trade, but I'm off school now. I'm going to try and get this back daily, if not maybe one episode every three days. So, on this video, could we go for 500 likes? And I'll bring you the next episode tomorrow if I get enough trades in. So, this episode. We have some bit of trading. I kind of messed up a bit because I bought players, left it like a couple hours, came back and they dropped. And then we have some live sniping for these brand new Halloween cards. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below if you have any methods you want me to try. And also tomorrow will be my ep next episode of top five trades of the week. So if you guys have any trades, make sure to send them in through my Twitter if you have them. So yep, let's get into these trades. So the trades this episode start off by picking up this Hernandez with a Hunter card. I was trying to see if I could do any like chem uh, chemistry style trading. And I made alright profit. I made about 300 coins on him. But I couldn't really find any other players with chemistry styles on which I could pick up. So here I actually tried trading with some players from the last week's marquee matchups. I believe there are new ones which have literally just come out as I'm editing this video. So in tomorrow's episode if I have one there will be a load of good trading with them. So I basically picked these up on the snipe for 400 coins, selling them on for 850, just easy profit. Really, really good. Those cards all sold on fine. I'm at 315k, but um, here is where the episode went a bit downhill. So there was a new squad builder challenge where it was the no goalkeeper challenge, and you basically needed plays with strong links. So this guy I always picked up, it was uh, Amiri. I picked him up, his price shut up because of this challenge. He went up to about 3,000 coins. So basically what I did, I mass bidded on a load of Amiris, thinking, oh yeah, it's all good, it's all good. I bidded on them, and then about two hours later, I came back, I won all of them for 2.4. But then I realised his price literally just dropped like a rock, and he was going for about 2.4, 2.5k. So what I had to do, I sold them on for 2.5, just to like cut my losses. So I think I made about like a 100 coin loss. On every card just because his prices went down and then what happened with even worse was some of them didn't even sell on for two and a half thousand coins and his buyer dropped even further to 1k so the cards I had to list out for 1k I was so annoyed with because I made like a 1k loss on all of them which is really bad and now we're down to 305k so this episode we may have even made a loss but here I got some sick snipe on a Halloween card Schneider I basically had like have a I was sniping for a bit and then I just left it. I came back, I pressed drawing on my controller, I saw a card, I sniped it, picked him up for 53k, sell him on for 61k, that was about a 3k profit after tax which is really nice and now we get into some live trading. So um, this live trading, my Elgato crashed again and you'll see at the end of the live trading clip my reaction to when I went for the Elgato to render out the footage and um, with the footage that we missed out there wasn't actually too many deals. But it was just really annoying that it crashed and I traded for so long. But yep, you'll find out what happens. Enjoy it. So another card got listed for 64k. We're just waiting for that one for 50, 58k. That's what, that's what I'm saying. That would be a decent deal. And also, for those people who always say to me, like, can you show some sniping weapons for more expensive like items? You can do stuff like this. You can search for informs. You can search for, like, just expensive players. And yes, there is the chance you can make, like, 50k profit on one card but just personally in my experience I find that not that many cards get listed up and when they do you only make about like a 3k profit and in that time it's probably more efficient just to snipe cheaper cards and make like 500 coins per card instead of waiting like five minutes to make 3k on one single card there has still been no new cards like what is this why is just no cards being listed at all I think I might just change player already. Feels like I've just given up on him, but like, just nothing's been listed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my next player. It's Z Z Zich. That's how you pronounce his name. I'm not very good with names, especially that name. <laughs> but he goes for about 60k. So, oh, a bit high, 61, 62. So he's going for 62k. We want to pick him up for about 58 to make an alright profit, it's not really, no not 58, about 57 I'm saying, to make a decent profit, so 57k or under is a good snipe, but let's just hope a card gets listed, 
If a card under 60k gets listed, I'm happy because at the moment we're not really seeing too many deals to pick up. Well, since none of this guy is being listed up at all, I'm just going to go all out, go for the big player. We're going to Emre Moore, and if we pick a snipe of him up, that's going to be absolutely ridiculous because um, he's expensive. He's a bronze, and if he gets accidentally listed up, he's going for like 15k. So 210, is that his cheapest on the market? Oh, um, 30. Okay, so 225, 210. So we want to pick our card up for about 180k? No, not even that shit. What am I doing? About just under 200k. And it's a deal, but I might want to undercut a bit, so I'm going to say like 190k and I'll be happy with it. But if a card under 200k gets listed up, I'm going to snipe straight on that and make some big profit. Come on. I doubt we will find any cards of more, but if there's one that pops up, I'm going to be so, so high because we could potentially make like 180k profit on this one player if he gets listed up for his min. Which I don't really know will happen, but if it does, that'll be mad. By doing this here, you can actually see the positive of using this method. Because since no cards have been listed up so far, if I was normally sniping, I probably would have had a ban by now. But since I'm doing this, basically, I'll go through the method. You press triangle on the player to go to your transfer targets. Then you press back and it refreshes the market. And then you'd see a new card get listed up. So you just press triangle and circle if you're on the PlayStation. Just go back and forward. To see if a new card gets listed up, but um, no mores are being listed up. There's no more mores to be bought on the market. Yeah, that that, that was a, a really bad pun. But we're, we're just not going to see one at all. I think um, I set my goal too high to try and snipe a more because I couldn't even pick up like... Well, no, I picked up a Schneider earlier, but I couldn't pick up any of the other players. I'm going to have one quick go with Fellaini because there might be a chance there. A small chance, but there might be a chance. How much is he worth? Like 180k. So Fellaini, let's put the price down. It's probably like 70k. Yeah, there we go. Around 70k. So I'm going to pick up a Fellaini for 70k. Right here, right now. 70k. Is that even a deal? I think it is a deal. I literally, I should do this in my head, but I just, I just want to check how dumb I'm being. So what's his minimum buy now? So I'd sell him on for 74, 750. And if I would have bought that card right now, I would have made 1k profit. And um, I still bought the card. So I don't really know. <laughs> Why did no one buy it? Like, I just, I managed to just sit around for a minute, log on to Futbin, see what I'd sell the card on for. I can't actually sell at 450, I'd have to sell at 4500. So I'm only making about 800 coins profit, but um, profit is profit, and I just called it. If one gets listed up for 70k, I'll buy it and make a bit of profit, and um, we made 800 coin profit. Oh, here we go, 71, no, that isn't a deal. And someone has just lowered the buy now or load, so mine isn't going to sell very quickly. Thanks, mate. So, yeah. I guess that's a decent snipe. <laughs> it is a, I can't even class that as a snipe. That's just a massive fail for everyone, really. Like, I failed because I didn't pick it up straight away. Then I, I then failed because I didn't think it was profit. I managed to find out that it would be profit, and then I still bought the card. So, um, yeah. Pro trader right here. I'm the one showing you trading tips and I can't even calculate the EA tax. Come on, I want another card for 70k. That's, that was, that's, all, it, oh, I missed it. Oh, if that's a deal. 70k. Well, um, we bought it. Let's sell on for 74, 750. Or 500. We're making like no coins at all. But I don't even care. Because profit is profit. That's what I always say. List that card up. There we go. Two Two snipes on Fellaini. Has it sold on? Is the question. No, none of them are sold on. So, um... I don't know how long we're going to wait. But they're going to sell on. And you never know. We may... 72. Oh, he's undercast. Let's just hope people want Fellaini's because... 
If no one wants him and his price goes down, I could be a bit stuffed. Here we go. 70k. Well, um, I just bought another one. I'm going to list it up for 74,500. Again, I just hope they sell because if they don't sell, I don't really know what I'm going to do, to be honest. There's this one card, which maybe if I update the market, might have sold. Um, no, it hasn't. So, um... Oh no, one of our cards sold. That's really good. So yeah, we're making profit. That is decent. So more cards are being listed. I want to try and pick one up under 70k maybe because then it could actually be decent profit because I've picked up three Fellaini's for 70k. I've only made like, yeah, like 2k profit between the three cards. But profit is profit. And at least I picked up some snipes on the Halloween cards. Even though they're not really snipe because no one else is actually trying to pick up a Fellaini. But after watching this video, go try and pick yourself one up and see if you can actually do it. So um, I'm probably going to wait for my other cards to sell on. Seeing as I don't really want to stack up too many cards. So that one sold. We've got these two more cards to sell on. So I'll be back when they sell on. And depending on what I'm feeling, we might do some more sniping. Okay, so literally, you... Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> literally, you don't know how angry I am right now. So I just recorded about... 40 minutes of me live sniping Yet I, I didn't really get anyone But it, it was still quite good Like I missed out on a couple cards And then I picked up a load of snipes at the end Which I might have got the footage of But basically I can show you this right now I'm going to pick up the camera right here So you see my camera here On my right monitor This is literally like so sketchy right now The quality probably looks awful But basically Well, well ba over here Right there you can see that that's my Elgato. So I just recorded a whole segment, all good, good, good. And then basically what I do, I press this red button and it exports it. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But nope, you guys always moan at me for saying like, oh, where'd you lose the footage? Look at it. Elgato has stopped working. This is when it's buffering the footage. So basically I'll put my camera back. I have, cause I record face cam and Elgato separately. The whole footage is gone like I can't get it back it has absolutely gone so the only thing I can do is off my PS4 capture I'm literally just picking up my camera this is probably like the worst segment of a video you have ever seen because I'm vlogging with a webcam but you can see here we have 15 minutes of PS4 capture which we can actually recover so you would have seen the edited of this segment badly synced up to my face cam but you missed out on about half an hour worth of trading, which I'm so annoyed about. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry for a short video. We did pick up some deals, but I'm just so annoyed that we didn't pick up some of this stuff. I'm just, I'm just so mad. And the cards will sell on the next episode. I just need to get the video out now. Next video, the cards will sell on. I don't know how I'm going to fix this Elgato problem. I might like get in contact with them or I may even need a new Elgato. I need to change some settings. I have no clue, but I'm going to get this sorted because I know it's happened when little segments where you see me missing when the card sold, but when you do like 45 minutes of live trading and it all goes and the only way to get it is through some PS4 capture, which is awful, like the quality you can tell is pretty bad and it only gives you 15 minutes. So that's what we're going to have to stick with. Sorry for this segment because you, prob you probably have clicked off the video already when you saw me pick up the camera. <laughs> the quality was so bad, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you stuck around to this bit of the video, type in the comment section down below, hashtag rip Elgato. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Can, can I just like record one video without the Elgato breaking? Like, that would, that would just be a dream come true.